What are the recommended documents for those about to turn 18 years old? Welcome to Barry's Bites. Please join our host, attorney and financial advisor, Chris Barry. Yeah, so this is a very good question right now because my kids, uh, actually today, my son's going to a new school because he graduated and they put seventh and eighth grade together. So he's like at this intermediary school, but this is his first time going today. So everyone's going back to school soon. Like my kids are going back next week, which is crazy, mid-August. But kids are graduating, going to school, they're turning 18. So keep in mind, prior to 18 in Michigan, they're a minor. They can't execute documents. You're their parents or guardian. You make all the legal decisions for them. Once they turn 18, that actually ends. So even though you're the parent, at age 18, if they were to have some type of accident, be injured away at school, and I've seen this happen, you don't have access to the medical records. You can't make medical decisions for them. The doctors can't share that medical information. I actually had a colleague of mine. He didn't do any planning for his kids. She was 21 over at Grand Valley, got in an accident, and he couldn't get any information because she hadn't done any powers of attorney. And so, especially with the HIP authorization these days, they can't share that private medical information. So if you have someone who's 18 or a young adult who maybe is not married, doesn't have kids, doesn't even think about estate planning for themselves, there's two things you need. And we call these disability documents. So anyone over the age 18 needs these two disability documents. And the first thing is a medical power of attorney. So this is a document appointing you as the parents to be able to make medical decisions for the individual. God forbid you would have to. And then the other is the financial power of attorney. So if they get a knock in their head, being able to pay their bills, getting access to their medical information, because that's typically where the HIP authorization is found, is not only in the medical power of attorney, but also the financial power of attorney. So if you do have a child who's turning 18, they have to sign these after they're 18. So you can't sign them when they're 17, but you have to have the kids sign it when they're 18 because that's the age of majority in Michigan. So they should have that financial power of attorney and the medical power of attorney, typically appointing you as the parents to be able to do that. The rest of this question, what if they should go to college outside of Michigan? Do they need to change it? Not really, because chances are they're going to come back. Chances are they probably use home as a mailing address, so they wouldn't have to change it. And just keep in mind, having something is better than nothing. So and that's super easy. So if you do have children turning the age of 18, just give us a call. We'll draft up the documents. They're very cost effective. And the kids typically don't care. So you just kind of grab their ear and make them, hey, sign this. God forbid something happens when you go away to school. We'll be able to help you. So hopefully that was helpful. 